I forgot to kill villagers. Wait, what? What? There's a tower? I ain't heard nothing about towers. And like, his tower is on the mill. Mine is like in Cuckoo Land. How is that fair? All right. Uh, 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 uh. Wait, there's a market here? You can trade. In this one. Ooh. Owie. Wait, what? You have a donkey? <laughs> Why is there a donkey? So we're playing the Lucis round three of the double cup. It's against Dragonstar. It's the best of five. And my home maps are Four Quarters and Farmland. His home maps are Astlan and Antarctica. And the deciding game will be a rivulet if it gets to that point. Probably gonna cancel Boiler say, yeah, possibly. Burbers. Hey, uh, uh, uh. Oh, I forgot to kill villagers. Wait, what? What? There's a tower? Wait, you say what? Wait, what now? I ain't heard nothing about towers. Wait, we're in like a tower war already. Like, our meal is spawning on top of each other. Like, is it supposed to be like this? It doesn't seem right. And like, his tower is on the mill. Mine is like in cuckoo land. Like, how is that fair? <laughs> That's stupid. There's a boar there. Nah, it's fine. Whatever. We have like random uh, spots on the map that you can see as well, I've noticed. Yes, 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 yes. Come, come, come. Mm, I didn't really check if both sides had boars. What? Oh, there's more sheep. Maybe I should use this tower to shoot down all of his stuff. Honestly? I should probably do this, right? That's probably what I should do. Go outside, man. Oh, this guy. <laughs> I even send him outside and I click, and then he goes inside again. Like, what? Bruv. Come on, bruv. Brava. That's not how you do it. Okay, my food income is hurting a little bit now. But hey, I'll get extra villagers. What is this map? It's called Farmland. Where did I find that? Oh, extra sheep here as well. Okay, okay, okay. I can work with it. Houses. And not work with it. Okay, we found all the sheep. That is noise. Wait, can I steal his farms now? Oh, I could steal his farms. Actually. Yeah, so far so good, I would say. Oh, it's TC here, probably. Oh! Forgot about this guy. Uh, I do think that he might be going faster if you lose, though. Yes, eat it! Eat it! Just eat it. Okay, nice. That is very good. Do I want to go few layers right away though? I think I do because... I do get two extra villagers as well. 
And it will be a way to be somewhat safe from that spiel from him. Okay, let's take gold here as well. We'll wall that. What do we just take gold on the front? No, we have gold inside there. What am I talking about? We have gold safe inside. Have you found a weird L Viper? Not specifically, but I have heard that song, for example. I do like that song. It's not out there either. Scout was here though. Is he farming? He's farming, isn't he? I'm just gonna go full monks. <laughs> By the way, in case that wasn't obvious. Thanks, Sleepy Giant. Mm. Send some of those to farming. Probably still do a barrack. Just to be somewhat safe. Food is not a problem. It's actually a safe wood then. Kind of. Woo, so many wheels all of a sudden. I'm about to be housed. Okay, let's go find out what's up. I still have the lag, by the way, the, the game hanging. I feel it. I really hope I can figure that out. Can I not manually click the mill? No, you can't. Weird. Here I could. I'm not idea what he's doing, by the way. Um, he's Berbers, you would imagine he's going cavalry units. He doesn't have upgrades on those either. So who knows? Yeah, still no upgrades. Maybe he's going camel archers. Maybe snipe one. You watch cricket? No, I do not. Two TCs? What? Yeah, that's the kind of the premise of a double cup. How it works. He has armor now. We're about to spawn more bills. I mean, if I can drop two TCs right away, like, let's say we drop monasteries here. And then, oh, that's a low HP bill. No bloodlines, though, which is fine, weird. Yes, stables there. What? Wait, do you have double walls on top of each other? Yeah, it looks like it. There's double stable. Brave girl. You guys should just go home. Build a TC there. I think I need a third monastery as well. Mm. 
Light cap, oh no. Okay, we got another villager. Our scouts are getting value. Okay. I mean, he can go full, uh, full light cap here, probably. Mm, yes, triple stable. Let's do redemption. This is double power side there as well, I'd imagine. So I think even if he breaks that, we have a buffer. Yeah, like whenever he breaks one, there's a second one already ready to go. This should be all conversions. I'll just let them get converted. Did I misclick something here? I'm pretty sure I misclicked something. We were supposed to convert all of those. Yeah. Oh no. Oh no. Some dead bills there. Doesn't matter. Let's castle drop. Ah, oh, shit. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> oh. So can I have one stone, please? Thanks. Um, turns out light cap do counter monks. Who would have thought? Thank you. Not looking good? Of course it's looking good. What do you mean? Not looking good. Looking great. Why do you guys go there? Again, the game keeps hanging. Oh, true, it's a double wall. That's why it never, it never opened. Yeah, the monks suck. <laughs> it's fine. We continue to make marks. Not sure. Ah. This is fine. What? That's in range. <laughs> Damn it. I guess I would have needed some pikemen in the mix to help guard. And protect. Hmm. I mean, I already have redemption, right? I can convert his stables. Oh, shit. Yes, forging. 
It's painful. As knights. I don't have any monks left. This was not part of the plan. Wrath is time to shine. Let's see about that. Maybe actually. Okay, now we start a real push. This is this is the real one. And up until now it's just been chilling. Now the real push begins. I need a b b b bodkin. Then we need the next castle. Thanks for the stable. I needed bloodlines and husbandry. Must be ah. He doesn't have stables anymore, but it's fine. This was what you were going for. Don't like that he keeps killing my things. I guess camel archers would be a legit counter. As in, they probably do hard counter these because, you know, they tend to counter things. I have some idols. Need wood income. Everything go there. It's fine. We have 120 bills somehow. Oh, I hate this double layer. <laughs> yeah, this is fine. This is fine. Okay, we're through. We're through. Not a castle. Stop that. Hmm. What is this? No, man. He's trying to disrespect. Oh! Wait, 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 wait. Wait, can we masterpiece this? Why not go for the masterpiece? Uh? Run! Wow, that was too slow. That doesn't work. It's worth a try. Oh, he wants to counter that. He probably will be able to. Hey, now, hey, now. Hey, hey, hey. Yo, this is my playstyle. I was doing this. Copycat. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. It went up. Oh shit, I got a conversion. Mistakes were made. Mm. 
Shibai. This is fine. Oh shit! I need to put all G. I cannot notice. I don't notice teal on the minimap. Enough. I really wonder how good those um, camel archers will be. We need siege elephants, boys. I mean, we're gonna get 12 extra villagers now upon getting to the Imperial Age. Do I really want to make more vills? Don't think so. What I do want to make though is Elephanto boys. They are good. Need that one. We sold a lot of wood. It's just doing the just passing move. Don't like it. Uh, colors did change. I put uh, friend and foe colors because it's a bit hard to see teal on the minimap. So plan is to sneak the elephant to tank there and then go and build the castle. We need to get beneath. Okay, this is the trick. We need to get underneath his castle so he and assume. I hope that he doesn't have murder holes. So you have to go in there and then patrol back and forth to tank the fire. This is fine. It's working, it's working. <gasps> he noticed. I think he noticed. Whew, so many else all of a sudden. Crazy stuff. Oh, I lost the villagers. It didn't work. Can I even get elephants though? I mean, I have a lot of idle time right now. This is fine. Okay, let's do that. They'll just take less pop. That's a nice one. Don't have a very big army. I mean, I have units, but I just don't know where they are. Oh, almost. Was a good try, Treb. Was a good try. I respect it. Oh, true. I have stables forward. <laughs> okay, we should turn that into farming eco. Then he will not be able to kill. Elephants, if we ever get to that point again. Should do a castle there. Let's get motor rolls. True. Yeah, we, we need some time here to get our farming eco up and running. He's being annoying, raiding everywhere. Just because Berbers have cheaper stable units doesn't mean you have to use them. Come on, man. That trap will go down. It was worth it. Yeah, I stopped making gold units though. It's mostly making stable units. Oh, hello. Uh, food. Hussar. Imperial! I'm scared of turning the score on. Okay, we're still okay. 
1200 food for that one. Maybe taking a little bit too long here. Yeah, winning son. Time will tell. I think we're still okay. Inflation is climbing again. We're getting all the upgrades. We're almost ready to go full. Full tanky boys. And I don't know what he could make against tank the tanky boys. Right. What does he make against Chunky Boys? As Berberus. Full Camel? Maybe that's his only option. Stop that. 900 gold though. I guess we'll sell a bit. Traps. What's the Chunky Boys? Not sure what they're called. Yes, Cavalier. Yeah, let's start producing the boys. Stop that. I think Chunky Boys may be an error of judgment. We will try. Oh, my villager, villager count is dropping. He fast? He was not fast. Don't need to take that one. Probably need to save this castle. You know what? Screw the range. Go attack mode. Why am I using these guys in range mode? Oh, don't have stone to repair. Well, thanks. Oops. Score is still looking fine, but I don't think it is necessarily fine. It says Eco is uh, untouched. I think we're dead. <laughs> you see dragons are rising top 10 next 2 3 years? Not impossible. Yeah, we do have chunk some chunky boys here now. But my my village account is gone. Maybe need more castles in my farming eco. I need foods. What? He converted my chunky boy? That's just rude. Alright. Um, 95 population against a guy that has untouched economy. That's usually not how you want things to play out. But we have chunky boys. We have gold income. Just need to make sure we have food income forever. Oh, he's doing chunky counters. The Berber's counter Bengalis pretty hard. I don't think Berber's counter Bengalis. I think Berber's should have a really hard time dealing with elephants in general. We are more resistant to conversions, to be fair, with our tanky boys. Not enough, probably. Yeah, the elephants are too unreliable for small. Like, I need big numbers that can snowball. Otherwise, otherwise he can convert them. Uh, 
Population ain't growing. On the contrary, it's going the other way. Don't have less attack upgrade either. We can do it, we can do it. Go get him. Go get him. Go get him. This chunky boy is getting some good rating though. Just killing traps. Pikeman? Nah. We're too deep. Yeah, I mean, the cheap. Maybe the cheap camels are cost effective still. For him. Yeah, probably. We're only on 90 population. Well, we have 60 farmers. I don't really spend wood anymore. So in theory, if we had some time, we could have recovered some population, but we don't have time. Hey. That won't be the one, but it seems quite bad. You came at the right time. Yeah, probably should have made some halberdiers. Could have maybe been nice against a Berber full stable play. How's the eco here? It looks like we get that solid lead with Bengalis, because you get the two villagers spawning, right? And in double TC start, you get four villagers spawning. So you get a bump of four villagers. You actually get eight villagers boost. Ooh, what about Bengalis for four quarters? Because when you get to Feudalage, you get eight extra villagers. You get to Castlage, you get eight extra. So you essentially hit Castlage with 16 plus villagers. Why not Bengalis for four quarters? Is that better though than cheaper villagers with Hindustanis? That's the question. Probably not. I guess it's my home map again. Uh, what was my second home map? Four quarters. Sure. Here we have to go Hindustanis. It's just too smooth to play. Despite the result, I respect Masterpiece attempt. I think we were in a better spot. I just obviously should have made a different unit as the game went on. So I think Bengali's opening was actually pretty pretty solid, all things considering. All right. Uh, 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 uh. All right. Auto scout, auto scout, build a house. Oh, I tried to eat the horse, I think. Auto scout, go there. You can go there. Uh, sure, auto scout. Eat things. Uh, here we want to build a dock. This is fine. You guys can go for wood. This is fine. This is not stressful at all. Four to start. Am I seeing this right? You are seeing this correct, sir. Very much so. I guess here we need a lumber camp as well, because there's no food or not much food there. I want the second fishing ship first, probably. Uh, can you find the sheep here, please? Wait, is there no more sheep there? Then, oops. Need a house. Need a house. Need a house badly. Hello, oh, Salenkyo. This map is pure chaos. <laughs> You're pretty much just all out, like, trying to make sure you have a somewhat okay start. But yeah, it, it is quite, quite a mess. Nothing is too bad, though. 
once you get once you get the start going, it's kind of okay. So it doesn't hurt to go a little bit extra on gold because we can always use the market later to balance eco. Get him. What's more okay, this member playing as Lux MBL, Yo, and Vivi, and Noma, uh, probably the Lux, Yo, Vivi, MBL, whatever you said. Why can't I place another one? That'll have to do. Guess we try to go up. Now you guys can start focusing on stone. Okay, we need more gold here. This is our gold mining. So that's fine. Keep going gold as well. We have 20 on wood. That's more than enough. Let's trap the horse because that's funny. He's walling up, so water units cannot do much. And he's already in fuel age. I think we're gonna have to do something similar. Let's do it! Wall it up, boys! Wait, there's a market here? You can trade! That's interesting. Guess we should make some water units on this side. Seems reasonable. Did I just trap his horse? I kind of did, right? <laughs> Accidental trap. Okay, heavy on stone. We need to go on gold as well. What's happening? Why do I hear attack noise? Oh, there was a demo there. I lost some bills. <laughs> Happens. Nerd. Do that. Let's do wheelbarrow. Gold mining. Stone mining. Many things. Let's farm some more. There's not really too much else to do down here. We can build houses. Omega F. It's all good. So, where the sacrifice along the way to victory? Uh, how the game works. Okay, what do we want to drop castle? I guess that here should be the first priority. He's kind of walling up everything. That I did town watch. Wish us luck. Here goes, here goes nothing. This is gonna be fine. How much in the face? Yes. We have a lot of fish. Actually, I really don't want to lose the water. 
Um, I think a castle on the top would be really nice as well, now that I think about it. Like, on the face. Proper on the face, you know. Like, here-ish. Looks like he's actually surprised. Oh, shit. Being a castle at home would be really nice. Like, properly home, you know? To be fair, we are targeting his the area where you can mine stone. I think that's good for us. That will very likely limit his castle options. Or his amount of castle drops down the road. Mm, losing water here is not great though. I guess we have to do this. He's losing some bills here, though. I think we can shut down this complete top side with not a castle. And we have one that side 100% then. So let's do that. This is fine. This is not fine, but we pretend it is. Just act like nothing is happening. Life is good. Don't worry, guys. This is part of the plan. Part of the sacrifices that have to be made make progress in life I'm also do a sneaky little tower rush there because why not debate them into the castle please thank you oh we're raiding the gold let's go probably thought he had one water little did he know okay yeah, this should be a lot of dead bills for him. I feel like we're in a very good position. Kinda of weird how, how luck plays out, doesn't it? Isn't it? It's my village account even. 108? It's solid. But, uh, <laughs> that's too stupid even for me. <laughs> even for me. Yeah, he shouldn't be able to like drop castles anymore. Which is... Kinda good, you know. Let's take out his market. I guess maybe a castle down here is safe. Maybe not. Uh, it's, yeah, yeah, let's do it. And hope it works out. <laughs> no! Don't raid me here. Thought we had peace on this side. Fine, I'll do one as well. It was our fish. It's quite a messy map. <laughs> I kind of like it. Oh boy, oh boy. Bye bye, villagers. Bye bye. I think that one hurts. What? Don't do this. Yeah, we, get, we need to get farming up and running. I mean, he lost a lot, right? Yeah, the, is there even stone anywhere else on the map? I don't think so, right? No, there's no stone anywhere else. So he pretty much cannot drop castles anymore. Okay, they're fairly tanky, it's okay. Mm. Oh, that's a long distance mining. 
I think all we need to do now is just stabilize our wood income. I want to chop through here, connect these two areas as well. That would be nice. That castle should seal the deal. Don't need blue on here anymore, actually. That's the only issue we have right now, or issue in quotes. We have units that, or. Yeah, units on a side that doesn't necessarily contribute. There's only 10 Ghulam though, so I mean, it's not the end of the world. Yeah, this one should be fairly well and over. I don't even think I should make more wills. Look at the stone we have. <laughs> Could do another one. Oh, he has units up there. I think he will resign when we hit him. Do I even delete them to give pop space elsewhere? We are in a pretty relaxed situation right now. Don't think he has any comeback opportunities in this one. Ooh! Are we? I think his biggest error, like he did a castle here first. I think you have to focus on the stone area first, because if you get taken off the stone, you cannot drop castles anymore. You could afford two castles only. That's a disaster. I feel like this four quarters is all about castle drops, so. Wait, is my stream not on? At least I'm recording locally, so YouTube will have this, but yeah. Apparently my stream is offline. Stats here quickly. KD better for us. Eco. Better for us than ever, like 6,000 more stone. That's pretty nuts. We pulled ahead in villagers quite fast, it seems like. I'm gonna try Franks on this map now. Maybe used it last time. There's a lot of bears around the TC, but the shortfish should be more important still. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll see how Franks feel. Bulgarians. Oh boy, oh boy. Yeah, we need... Yeah, let's play red and blue. Start should be somewhat smooth, given that you have the berries. The food income will be fairly solid. I guess his Bulgarians for cray posts. I don't know. Okay, 
Yeah, I'll try to keep an eye on that. For those just watching this on YouTube, uh, we've been having some stream issues. Apparently, Facebook is throwing my stream offline randomly. So if there's been some hiccups, you will understand why. Um, yeah, we're still going to just carry on and record it for YouTube locally, no matter what. So we'll just try to keep our focus on the game. Okay, I need more on wood. Probably one more at least. Yeah, the berry bonus is certainly helping here with to keep uh, maintain villager production for sure. But yeah, we still cannot ignore the middle. There's too much fish there to be left untouched. Alright, villager production is starting to become quite stable. I think we will soon be ready to go to the middle for the first time here. Well, Garen's don't really have a bonus bar. I mean, they got Freeman Arms upgrades, free Blacksmith upgrades. They are an interesting pick to me here. It's a sieve that I would probably think can be an okay saver, but I don't think I would pick them. And think that this should be a top pick on this map. That was nice. I got the block off there so that the other scout couldn't come in and target my low HP scout. That gave us some. But then again, I don't really want to fight with my scout in Dark Age because I get the extra HP hitting Fuel Age, right? So we also don't really want that at the same time. I haven't seen him on the middle yet, though. Oh, this is a sweet one. Oh, I see him on the middle. How many wheels are we talking, though? That's five. Okay, he's just not moving. Okay, that's the first mill. Alright. Bear is disappearing faster on the TC. Damn. We'll do a second lumber camp on the right side, maybe. Just for smoothness of development. He can secure middle with my arms. He could, yes. But uh, it's a very likely scenario. I might actually open super fast archers with that in mind. I don't see a barracks yet, though. That feels like maybe they're building a barrack. No, but I think I have a better opening nonetheless. I think I should have a better eco. Oh yeah, you can eat the Jaguar, true. <laughs> Forgot about that one. I think I'll be faster to Fuel Age. I want to try and keep tabs on those. We'll do a stable range opening, I think. In order to get some archers out as well to hopefully deal with what we expect to be men arms, potentially. Boink. Second barrack. Uh, oh, there's the militia. Oh boy, oh boy. He's already up. Uh, my barracks. I'm just building my barrack now. Okay. 
Okay, he's coming there. Man, where can I place buildings even? Food is not a problem short term. It is a problem long term. Yeah. Bulgarians seem like a solid choice. Need a blacksmith as well. Maybe a tower would have made sense. Okay, quick well. So even though we're pushed off middle, we're gonna get a really good eco most likely by farming still. Very nice. Yeah, let's go back. Oh, he's doing arches as well. Interesting. Oh, I can go hunt jaguars. Oh, not like this. I think second range is necessary here. I don't see what units he has. What's here? Everything is hiding. Wait, there's a spear there. Clever, you can actually hide the spears in the <laughs> in the waterfall. Or in this case, hide the scouts in the waterfall. Okay, I need to sort our eco now. I still don't mind it, even though we're pushed off the middle, just in the opening. Still think we get... Oh, I don't have fletching! <gasps> I thought I clicked it. Oh, that's really ugly, actually. That's a good trade, at least. I was sure I clicked it earlier. Not the best micro I've ever done. I don't think he has double range. At least not right from the start. I need a couple of scouts trickled in here. Oh, he's doing as well. And he has armor on them. I like the way he's playing this. Yeah, like, I'm not depending on the middle anymore. So I don't have to, like, stay here. Anything we can now switch to more of a let's counter attack type of approach. Try to find weak villages from him. Although I guess our base is vulnerable. Now he has Bills vulnerable himself. Yeah, let's do a tower there. He's sending too many units for us to ignore it. This is a full upgrade, but no bloodlines. That's quite nice for us. 
think I may even ignore middle uh, stop production and go up. I think he is still fully committed on producing units. So if we can just now stop production. Oh, this is ugly. Yeah, that's quite ugly. Yeah, it's fine. That's not fine. Guess we still have enough that I can fight back okay. But it felt dangerous. Oof, that's actually a juicy army. And he's up himself. And I misread his situation on the middle there. Give me a second. Uh, what is this map? This map is called Double Aslan. Yeah, I should have targeted his wood as well earlier. Do I even make crossbow upgrade here? I think I probably shouldn't. Yikers! That's our gold. Your market. I think we need TC there. If we don't get that gold income, we're in big trouble. I mean, we already are in big trouble. Oh, I have bills back there. But even in more big trouble, he has extra TCs as well. Hmm, Bulgarians is a nice pick here. You just win the middle straight up with the uh, men arms. Fifty-eight bills. I don't like my position. Not even through to the other side. This is double cup where you start with extra town centers. He also has plus two already. Oof. Don't think we can hold this for very long. Our numbers aren't like crazy good. Uh, is this open? No, it's not. Where's the, where was the stone again on this map? Uh. Let's call it. Okay, stream is still alive. That's good. Yeah, I like I like uh, Bulgarians here. This is a nice pick. The middle arms just take you off the middle, and then you have the food from the middle to just make whatever you want. He barely had to make farms as well, right? Didn't even eat eat all the berries. Twenty more bills at this point. Woo, we did. So we're gonna play a second home map as well now, which would be Antarctica. Yikers. Uh, Antarctica. He's been playing Hunts here all the time. Let me read what the map description was again. A uh, very open, hilly land full of ice and snow that has little resources, just piles of wood for lumber and little other vegetation. However, penguins, which can be hunted for food, roam the shores and fish swim between ice floes and icebergs. Wait, where's the wood? Wait, is this like the two tile wood thing? Where the wood just has, it's like unlimited, but it's only two tiles or something? I'm gonna try, I'm gonna just gonna go hunts, because they've been, from what I saw, he's been picking hunts here every time, so I guess there's a reason to it. We'll do the same. <gasps> Hans. Wait, what? You have a donkey? <laughs> Why is there a donkey? Oh, there are penguins there. Yeah, there is a berry. Okay, it is this type. Oh, 100,000 wood. Holy. Okay. 
Okay, 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 I see. I see why, okay. How much food is there? Do I have 16 HP? Wait, 4 HP only, but 16 attack. So they're a bit scary, actually, to vill villagers. And I assume you have to go melee mode, so... I think I want to send 4 vills at a time if I want to hunt those. Okay, there's a wood line. At least we don't need houses. God, they're so slow. <laughs> are, I wonder if the, the penguins are faster food income. Also, are they aggressive? I don't know. Like, I'm scared. If I send my bills there, will all of them attack me or just one, whoever I attack? Also, do I want a dock? I don't think so. I think this is feudal age map. I mean, first impressions say feudal age at least. Uh, where were there? Oh God. Okay. Okay, we need to locate some penguins that I dare to go for. So let's try. We need one more. I probably need wood first, actually, now that I think about it. So I can do... Uh, I think we have a touch. Okay, here goes nothing. We have Loom, so it's not as dangerous, but still feels pretty dangerous. Weren't there penguins here? Hello? Also, I'm not sure how much food I carry. Wait, they don't fight back? Wait, then it becomes a... Oh, it becomes a... It becomes a, an ostrich. Upon hunting it. Ah, okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay. There's a lot of idols. <laughs> Not very pretty. Wait. Wait, what? Where can I even... What? Where do I even build? You can't even build mills here, man. Can I use the dock trick? Okay, I guess we just build a mill there. Oh, I don't have food for the wills anymore. Disaster. Give food! My thesis are idle. Why are you guys idle? What I do notice as well is that whenever you kill a penguin, you have to actually manually target it to eat it again. <laughs> oh, what a map. Drop off a dock. It is an option where you have to multitask and you have to... Micro that so much. Okay, you guys go for that one. You guys go for that one. You can't click right away, you have to wait as well. Get it. Interesting. Uh, how much food is there on the berry? I should have milled. Oh, that's a lot of food. What a mess. <laughs> I like the I like the mess. I think I'm gonna idle to go up. He has a dock. I'll ignore the dock for now. And just try to keep village production. You can even go fast castle with that in mind. I mean, I guess you do docks here so you can take the shorefish. That's yeah, probably still worth it. 
Ten idols? Where are they? Oh, yeah, you have to eat it. True. A lot of micromanagement when it comes to the eating the food. We have ten on wood. It's fine. Frank's good picker because of berry. Mm, that's a thousand. How many berries are there? Like I see two. Not sure how many there are. Maybe feudalage is a mistake as well. But wait, where? Okay, there's gold in the middle. Maybe feudalage is a mistake. Because there's so much food. I'm just gonna go double stable opening and then hope and just make scouts and transition to castleage i already have a thousand food i think actually i'm changing my mind this should be a fast castle map like both my goals are super forward that's not not the best not the best indeed. Let's just make a second. Second one anyway. Yeah, he can probably straight fast cast. But you know what? I think I can fast cast as well. Despite the investment. It's walling things up. Yeah, I think just like this. Now take gold and then add a blacksmith that I can probably still go cast Lage really fast. Not as fast as him probably, but... Wait, it's going cow archers? I don't like that the trade car cart things become idle. Villager. Let's go down there. Oh, we're up as well. Should have a similar-ish time. I don't mind this. I don't mind my approach now. Feels solid. Let's wait for bloodlines before we start actually engaging with spears. Or why wait as well? I think it's just gonna end up losing a lot of ills here. Oh, even added fish. Oh, that seems extremely greedy. That seems extremely greedy, I may, might say. The fish can be killed by ships as well. Oh, yikers. <laughs> the donkey is debating the spears. Love it. What? Fire ships? No one told me about those. Oh, I don't have any upgrades. We got TC on the some somewhere. It's going pikeman. Interesting. Hmm, my Kulik is actually gonna hurt a little bit from the fires, potentially. Makes in some knights as well.
still feel like knights should have way more damage output right off the bat. Nice counter pikes, right? That's the rule. Don't bark. Nah. Nine. Lots of idols. Oh, lots of idols here. And we have more food somewhere. Berry. I would love the other berry. Not sure why my wheels are going here, though. Guess we start farming. Yeah, the TC as well. Yeah, I can kill this army still. Why do I have bills here? Yeah, he lost his whole army there. Let's do a TC here. This should be a nice one. <laughs> what a wild map. Wild, wild map. Oh, there's not a berry there. Let's go. Kind of want to go on stone as well. <gasps> oh boy. Doubt. Doubt is calling. That should be fine. Reaction time. We're also just getting a good, good um, TC uh, village account right now as well. On top of everything else. So yeah, I think we're at the point where it's borderline impossible for him to come back. I just started your dog. Can't blame me. I wasn't the one barking. Can't blame me for that. Blame the new foster dog. We have to be a little bit careful. Things could get out of control quite easily with cat hunts, cat watchers. But I still feel like we're. Do all right. Got the TC there on all the gold as well. We have 50 on food. Holy. It's a lot. Where's the stone? Maybe we can take stone here instead. Might be safer. Your dog startled my dog. There we go. That's more like it. Put the blame where it deserves to be. Let's just take those wheels. Ouch. More villagers. Thank you. He's actually on stone now, now though. Have to be a bit wary of that fact. Okay, 
Okay, we have to be a bit careful. I can't throw away too many knights. Because the couch snowball could become a problem. Nine. At least he's still currently just chasing my units around. I expect a castle drop here soon. That's good for me, he's spreading out units. It's easier to deal with than Linoff. When he's playing couches and I'm playing knights. Because he has to micro the bottom side now non-stop. And I just let my units chase. And then at the same time I can just patrol units on... Oh, what? Why are you guys not chasing? I just need a few units on top. And he cannot micro both sides all the time. I mean, I'd imagine anyway. You never know. I think I could buy a market as well. It's a fun map though, I think. Really difficult to play, but I think Kawacher play is too greedy. You can't justify all that early initiative that the night player gets. We can drop our own castle now. Also, I feel Doc is probably over the top. GG. Fun map. I like it. So for everyone watching on YouTube that there is the distraction of the stream going offline, but yeah, it is what it is. We got seven double the food income in the end, pretty much. Fifty more villagers, yeah. Rivule is the last game, if I remember correctly. It's triple start. I wanna go Gujara here. But this time I'm gonna go fast castle. No hunts is available, so Gujara should be good. Alright, game five, the side game again. Oof. Alright, let's do it. Lithuanians. That's a solid pick. Oh, oh. It was a slow start here. Oh. At least I remember to go instant dock here. Oh, I did not remember to pick, build a house though. Let's delete a uh, king. To clear up population. Wait, I'm Gujaras. I should make a mill. Oh, that's a shit dog. <laughs> I think I almost lost the villager there as well. Uh, I need to scout here. My everything is AFK. I feel like I was not ready for a 3 TC stock right now. Oh, I did delete the king as well, right? So I have to be careful. Um, let's carry some those. I don't really want to lose both the kings, because then we lose, if I remember correctly. Oh, I lost the villager. Oops. This is just going to be a mess. It's fine. I don't have any on wood either. I almost lost another villager. 
Namaste. Yikes! Not a great start. Where do I want to take wood? Let's just get loom. Oh, I don't have gold to get loom. Never mind then. Let's take wood there. Shit. <laughs> this has not been a great, great game. On my end. Um, we can go there. Looks like just long distance eat that thing. I don't want to take. Uh, gold on top, yeah, yeah. Gold on top. Only have two fishing ships. Uh, hello? Hello? I don't know what's going on. Let's mix in one more of those. What's up, is he? Uranians. Uh, yeah, we need wood. Badly. I think we just give up water as well, kind of. We have 12 idols, okay, that's why. It makes sense, doesn't it? We can send these three down here. I wonder how far behind we are in population, or at least what the population is. Oh, my food income is horrible. I'm not gonna go fast cast with this. <laughs> Question for another day. Guess we're still eating the boar there. Can always drop a market. Should maybe eat a few more of my sheep. Maybe I just idle my resources here. Or my production rather so I can click up. I need to click up. Yeah, I'll let him have water. Guess I don't really care too much about it. Just again, why not? Looks like he isn't really fighting for water either. A bit strange. But I'm fine with it. I just came in the point. Actually, let's just scout a little bit more. Maybe find out what he's doing. That could also be a good idea. I'm surprised he hasn't made a single fire ship. Few hills on gold, few hills on stone. Both kind of made a fire ship super late. Looks like he's fine. 
He's not overly invested into water himself. Don't see stables. Stop with two show, I'm sure riders. Right to the gold. I think I have the TC gather point issue. As always. Okay, just add a town center there. It's going pikeman. Then we will do this and just make economy because I believe the jar late game should be pretty solid still. I need to make sure I have economy to produce even double dock even. But the good thing here is that I don't really have to worry about any raids or aggression. He's just playing Pikeman. We'll obviously have water without con a contest. That's kind of what we signed up for, isn't it? Let's do that. This is where to suddenly play without a stream watching. We're already on 90 villagers, it might even make sense to just stop producing already. Go up. Might actually make sense. Twenty-four only on food, though. Doesn't make safe sense quite yet. I guess, yeah, 100 bills. Let's idle now. We idle now, and then whatever happens, happens. We want to deny him relics as well, if possible, because he's Lithuanians, right? Doesn't look like he has too much army hanging around either. That could have. Oh, he stole the relic. No. Well, I still have two. Once the new tech is done, we'll start producing. Wait, so he got three relics? Okay. Not ideal, but 
Not the end of the world. Still, not sure if he's up yet. I would imagine he is, given he has had fish as well the whole time. I also really like shotgun throwers. Oh, let me see this one. Happy this is not my empty TC. We'll just abandon this TC. It's a lot of farming, but. Double trap, but I'm not sure if I should. Okay, he's really forcing the issue here. I also have to be careful to not forget my king. Where are my traps? Alright, a bit annoying, for sure. Especially the farming eco that got idled. That's the worst part. We have castles, uh, trebuchets. still would have preferred to be in his shoes just the aggression uh, or the economy is idle with these castle drops but he will lose a couple of castles here it feels like we are gonna have this go to post imperial age which is good for me this is my opinion because i think gajara should be better okay let's go university he will be hitting in soon. 131 villagers, that's fine. We just need to get this into a farming eco. Okay, castle down. There is the imp. But the good thing is we have we have stabilized. Oof, that market price is insane. Shouldn't really spend on that. Uh, let's do one more castle there. Then I'm happy. Thirty-two farmers. Let's get back on this farming eco. Get back on this farming eco. Uh, let's get back on this farming eco. Because why not? It's going halberdiers. That's really good for me. It makes sense that he's going for them, but. They're not the bestest unit in a massive widespread map like this. It's not Elite Light this either. I'm missing a lot of important upgrades here. Some 
Still not a late like this, but yeah, I lost all my numbers there. That's bad. At least he doesn't have traps to follow it up with right away. Uh, 117 bills. Yeah, I lost some villagers. Not ideal. It's mostly been that idle farming eco that has been an issue for me. That's fine. We have 60 on food now. Where is my food food going? Where is my food? I need food. I do have 60 on food, just I can't afford anything. Okay, it's starting to look better. Oh, that's bad. Is it elite yet? Didn't check. Oh, no, noise, I don't have elite. I think I will do this castle will be lost. And I accept that. 65 on food. I don't think there's a point in me doing the upgrade where my camels get extra armor because, I mean, he ignores the armor anyway, right? So what is the point? I have almost 70 on food, yet I still feel like I don't have enough resources. Uh, this cast is super exposed as well. Eclipse turn. How much is lit? 1650. This elite light is now. Okay. Should not do it there because that one is probably gonna go away. Now the real test. If the your Jara composition really can be beat. I don't know. So far so good, even though we lost the castle. That was the first big fight of the of the game. They have three castles, that's kind of okay. We might end up going for raiding instead. If he feels like he cannot take a straight up fight. Still missing some upgrades as well. Maybe I still should do the armor for fighting other units. He's downhill there, for the most part. Yeah, we still win those fights massively. We'll lose on another castle, but... It's a calculated loss, as we will gain ground elsewhere. say the biggest concern I would have right now is my king being sniped. I don't think that is very likely, but it's the, the biggest way I see us losing this game right now. Still have plenty of stone to mine. 
guess I have to send some units down here in support. Kind of trapping himself by going there. Yeah, he's not getting out of there. Okay, whatever, let's add more trips then. Taking way too long to take down. Yeah, we can do an. Oh, I lost my market. I don't like that, I like my markets. I'm actually only on 99 villagers. It's not the best. Big fight incoming! Good timing for those to be spawned. Oh, we have so many shotguns though. I don't see how he ever wins this straight up fight. At the moment. Yeah, there's no way he wins any fights ever. This Civ I'm playing is pretty good. DPS on castle uh, buildings doesn't seem too impressive. Okay, let's start to do some raiding ourselves. I feel like we are stabilized enough. Well, I'm back to like... Only 108 villagers, I don't like that. He thought twice about that one. <laughs> this is kind of what has been mostly missing at the moment. I was repairing this. Can I fight this though? I mean, I don't want him to get on top of me, right? I'll lose my traps, but I should lose all this light. This and we're starting to get some raids now, so we have to go that. He still also only has fletching. Score still looking close, but we feel like we're in a very good spot. Well, I am struggling to be constantly maxed out, which isn't good. It's actually far more on the top side. That's probably where my safest eco is right now. Let's go sneak by. Mm -hmm. 
This will be a beautiful fight for me. Ooh, please stay there. Yes, please stay. Oh my god, this is... That's disgusting. That is disgusting. That's castles everywhere. It's a bit hard to find the right angle to push. Okay, yeah, let's sit on this hill. That's way better. Okay, he has bald can, uh, bracer now. But I think now is the moment. We have reached a turning point in the game. Where I think he's gonna have a hard time stopping us now. Because we are maxed out, we have healthy eco now. We have gotten to the numbers. The required numbers to win. So, I think that's a tough one. And we can push relics now. I mean, he has to move the relics to the back, so that's nice by him, but... Why, why can't I stop them? Like, what? I'm trying to make them stop. I, there, now I have the stop function. That was so weird. Probably a few more stables. And we're very Gucci. Yikes. Because he has to make us a uh, play for my, my king, right? Where are my kings even? Is there a way for me to check that? I have one in this TC. Is that my only king? Oh, I'm scared. Go hide in the castles. This unit is ridiculous. He's out of juice. <laughs> I mean, if they had ballistics as well, imagine this unit. I don't want to imagine it. I think he's really struggling to find the right ways to engage with this. I might try to come from the hill, but even then, I can always... I should probably take good fights even from the hill. These two traps can go. Sacrifice I'm willing to make. He has lost a lot of castles as well, so in this case he he doesn't have the safety anymore, but it's also kind of required on a map like this. Oh, he still has fish alive. That's something you should consider getting rid of. Oh no, don't go for my king. My king is innocent.
Die Dune ist OP. Like this unit is OP and I'm fighting against like this another arguably OP unit. So yeah. Whoa, it's a lot of cameras just chilling. How about it, Red? Here's what the KD ratio will be. <laughs> this isn't here. Uh, the KD ratio will be. Stop, go there. We're still trying though. Kudos to him for fighting on. I would say we have reached that uh, unbeatable composition that Kajaras are kind of known for. Maybe we can mix in some Shalom Shiraitis as well now. GG! He played very well though. I think he did a really good job. Kajaras feel really good here, but my opening was an absolute disaster this game. <laughs> it was a full disaster. You can even tell here how we're falling behind in early population. But yeah, we take it 3-2 and we advance to the next round. I'll have a look at the brackets, see who we can face. We had more of everything except food in the end. So we want to face Dark or Sita. And if we win that one, we could face ACCM, Winchester or Taro. Let's see. We're in, uh, what is this? This is top, top six. Yeah, so we're in top six now. Good stuff. See you for the next one.